the south side didn't get much of a break from the snow. Uh, they're already back out pre-treating as the next round of snow moves in. Ten on your side, Jason Marks is in Chesapeake with the latest. Well, it's been a busy day here at Chesapeake Public Works. They spent the day making sure these trucks were ready to roll, stocking them up because they know tomorrow will be an even busier day. We were hoping to have a little more break between the last event and, and the one forecast for tomorrow, certainly. The break for Chesapeake Public Works lasted less than a week. Tomorrow, crews will be back on the streets, once again trying to keep drivers safe during the storm. Right now, we are pre treating our bridges and overpasses, uh, putting down brine solution. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to do that you know, until we get all of our bridges uh, treated, then we'll uh, move to the emergency routes. Chesapeake crews have 35 trucks ready to go and 2,500 tons of sand and salt ready to be spread. The biggest issue will be the timing of the snow. We, we potentially could go through a couple of cycles uh, of you know, w w winter weather that we're going to be dealing with during the a.m. and p.m. Uh, commute times, particularly Wednesday afternoon and then Thursday morning. In Virginia Beach, crews spent the day mixing more than 2,000 tons of sand and salt. So we're going to probably have a lot more traffic, including school buses. Overnight, they'll begin treating bridges, overpasses, and the major intersections. Tomorrow, the beach's 30 trucks will be covering the city. Oh, and it's not the first time we've had one snow fall right behind the other. And also, I think particularly since this one doesn't seem to be, uh, it's going to be as fierce as the last one. And we're all stocked up and ready. Another round of snow. Though crews say they're ready for it, they're also ready for a change of season. I am ready for spring, certainly. <laughs> yeah, not sure about the start of hurricane season, but ready for spring. How about that? And crews tell me they believe that this storm will be much more like a typical Hampton Road snowstorm where it will snow and then the next day it will be above freezing. So that's good because it will all melt away. That's the latest here in Chesapeake. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Our team coverage on the winter weather continues on the peninsula. Crews in Hampton and Newport News began preparations for this storm last week. And that's where we find 10 on your side's Matt Gregory in Hampton. Matt. Hey guys, no sooner had they thawed out here on the peninsula from last week's winter storm and those icy conditions that this week they're right back to it. And both cities, Hampton and Newport News, say despite to how much that the actual storm bit into their supplies of salt and sand, they're ready for this one too. In Newport News, before all reminders of the 2018 blizzard melt away, there's another storm around the corner. Everybody said, here we go again. In the public works yard, if crews got a break from last week, it wasn't long. We actually thought we started preparing last week because we heard about the pending weather coming and we started mounting all of our spreaders and brine units last Friday. Last storm, 2,000 tons of sand and salt were spread across the city. And Newport News Street Maintenance Head Jason Calvert says they're still set for main and secondary roads in the city this time around. And today, they did some final adjustments. Today we finished mounting all of the, the plow trucks and they started brine operations this morning at 7 a.m. The lines of brine run from Newport News down to Hampton where city spokesman Fred Gaskins. We think our crews did an excellent job. Says they've taken a few lessons from past storms. We have learned that having the police with us when we go out, especially when we're plowing, really helps a lot. No time to reflect today, it's back to preparing. So we've been replenishing our brine supplies. We're still replenishing our salt supplies. City crews dump more than 1,000 tons of salt on Hampton City roads, and Gaskin says they're still ready for the next storm. We will have our crews beginning a 12-hour shifts uh, starting at 4 a.m. Round two for winter weather on the peninsula. And just like in Hampton and Newport News, they'll begin 12-hour shifts as soon as the snow starts to fall, but they'll continue brining throughout the evening in both cities, prepping those roads for the potential for another winter storm, although, as they all have seen and you've seen with our weather team, that it may not be quite as bad as our last storm. In Hampton, I'm Matt Gregory. Tell me your side.